Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Kutzard and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, September 17 to September 23rd 2018 So that being said before I'm shuffling, uh, while I'm shuffling the cards um, I want you to acknowledge that uh, this is a, a general reading for the star sign and for personal readings uh, you have to go to my website which link you can find down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So that being said, uh, oh, also as it is the end of the summer there is a uh, summer end sale that is going on and this sale adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute service See, and makes it total of a 40 minutes so we go to the tarot card spread and the, the spread is about is consistent from four cards and the first card here will display the topic for you Scorpio for the week then we do have the next card showing the core of the situation the third card is about the challenges that you Scorpio have to overcome for the duration of the week and the last one here it regards to the guidance that Tarot has to offer to us Scorpios because I am a Scorpio as well so let's see what we got here now the topic of our week is the Two of Wands so the Two of Wands is about expand the Two of Wands it's, um, <clears throat> it's about conquering a, a, new, a new field in our lives so that card could manifest very well into making a, a new step of progress either into our personal life or either into our, uh, our career however uh, <clears throat> it's a little bit how can I place it it's a little bit more leaning toward planning how to make it rather than, rather than exactly making it because the two of wands is associated with, um, with aggression and uh, that and this aggression has nothing to do with the violent aggression you know that one human being uh, exerts toward another but that aggression is associated with the aggression to force a change into our life and as we are aggressive to make some moves you know to make a change and to make improvement into our lives we may make the uh, the first initiative uh, phase way too early than the phase has to be done therefore you may find ourselves depriving ourselves uh, from making a progress whatsoever so this particular topic here also advises us to be a little bit more patient <coughs> and to be uh, more um, understanding as well when it comes to uh, interacting with other people nonetheless this card points that that particular week we will uh, actually realize that our limitations either career or relationship wise are way be uh, are way bigger than what we are incorporating at this very moment into our fields career or relationship wise and that itself is going to make us think that we can achieve greater highs and so we can however it will be as i said very important to channel that additional energy we possess you know in the right way instead of being fronting frantic and scattered scattered among many activities that's why for the duration of this week scorpio if you uh, and you will of course uh, kind of feel uh, that necessity to make something new you know to improve yourself into many fields or into one specific field to involve yourself into a certain project to go out and start dating etc etc uh, that will be a an accurate uh, aim of yours however uh, the process of doing it and the um, the approach of how you can do it has to be thoroughly thought instead of being rushed and the core of the situation here that will be the king of wands so we do have a person 
that will help you discover your new abilities, should I say that way? Because this is about uh, finding that you are much better than you are right now into a, um, a specific area or a field in your life you had no clue that you can pull it through. Uh, for example, <clears throat> someone could ha could someone can help you discover that you are a good writer. Someone can give you a, a proposition for you to start, for example, making courses. Um, or someone could uh, boost your confidence of uh, trying to get a hit on a uh, more beautiful girl than you are hitting it to, uh, until this very moment or a more beautiful gentleman. It is all about lifting your personal standards and this is what the week is going to present itself to you or is going to mani manifest itself to you by you lifting your personal standard standards because you will have a some someone next to you which is urging you to do so because that person here signifies by the king of wands they, uh, well, first of all, they always maintain positive attitude, so they will maintain your positive attitude. But as well, these people are maximalists, which means that they always aim for a close to a perfection uh, goals. And they will encourage you to do so. And that's why, most likely, you will start looking around yourself where you can make a change into your life, in the way of, uh, in the way how you live, to the way how you do your job at your career path and it's going to be toward a positive end as long as you are not frantic about it and then we do have the challenges that you have to overcome this is going to be the two of swords and that is highly linked to the two of wands properties of aggression the two of the two of swords here points that you may lack a certain information or the whole uh, situation may not be uh, may not be evolved to a state where something can be done about it and that's why waiting and maintaining the equilibrium of your life could be uh, could find itself very challenging you know to be patient to have the um, the stand the standpoint of uh, looking toward the situation from many different angles here, because before this is the maxima here, guys, Scorpios. Before you decide what to do, you have to be able to. Um, consider all points of view and especially that is true if uh, you're facing a certain dispute before you decide what to do about that dispute you have to be able to put yourself into the shoes of others and see the situation from their perspective all right before you actually decide you know how to proceed forward and how to expand your personal capabilities and limits <clears throat> and take the upper hand in such a way uh, that you will have most benefits from because most likely the other way around you know you will win the dispute but you may uh, minimize you know the profits from it so it will be important here to be patient and to be more um, deliberate <clears throat> when it comes to examining uh, the way of approaching how you should proceed moving on forward and the guidance that will be the chariot card so here the guidance is also very tightly linked to uh, the two of wands as one explores new fields to conquer encouraged by a leader you know because that person here uh, sits as a leader uh, one is prone to make a, a clean cut with the past you know burn some bridges and basically abandon certain uh, certain positions and the chariot card advises you to do so so um, that will be also a, a week that offers you uh, an opportunity for you to um, cut ties with poignant situations and with the situations that are placing you in despondent 
standpoint and focus and reposition yourself into a, a more positive um, into a more positive standpoint into more positive situations uh, and how this is going to manifest for every single one of you that is uh, depending on your personal situation but definitely you can abandon certain positions into a um, misfortunate events or a mis in misfortunate um, undertakings and instead instead reprioritize yourself into a, a more positive undertakings however uh, because it's the chariot card uh, it will require some iron will for you some a very strong determination and some in some cases a, a heroic effort in order to do so so don't be afraid to exert your will and to as well you know exert your unwell, un unyielding start standpoint toward your uh, greater or brighter future should I say and now uh, we have the Lenormand reading which is going to show us a event <clears throat> happening that week which Scorpio should either look forward to or try to avoid let me now cut the cards and what we have here the first card that is going to be the bucket which signifies either a gift or a spontaneous happy event <clears throat> then we do have the uh, heart which sits uh, or stands for love or it stands as well for com commitment and then we do have the chest which stands for an ending or a new beginning you know an ending of an era or a new beginning <clears throat> afterwards i mean so uh, that is very peculiar here so we do have the bucket which is a spontaneous happiness of love marking an ending of something all right so that could be marking an ending of your solo existence here and having someone that you can rely on someone that loves you you know or that this as stands for a commitment it could be a uh, surprising commitment happening which is set setting an ending of something whatever it is for what it seems again here it repeats the tarot reading pointing that you can reposition yourself from a misfortunate event into a, a more fortunate event if you do have the iron will and the determination and what the Lenormand points is that you also need to have the awareness of when that has to happen because it seems it's going to happen through a, a surprising event events that are, that are coming to you as a, a gift from the universe so that being said Scorpios this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for September 17 to September 23rd 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you are interested in a private reading as this is a, a general reading for the star sign which I hope that makes sense to you but if you are interested in a private reading you need well, everything that you need is my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as the pricings for them so um, <clears throat> that being said Rat signing out now see you next time bye